Hey guys, we are continuing solving problems from Hilary Resnick Walker. Uh, problem number 34 in this session, chapter 21, 8th edition. Figure shows uh, electrons 1 and 2 on an x axis. 1 and 2 electrons on an x axis and charged ions uh, 3 and 4 of identical charge minus q and at identical angles theta. Electron two two is free to uh, move. Electron two is uh, free to move, and other three particles are fixed in place at horizontal distances r from electron two and are intended to hold electron two in place. So uh, electron one charge to three and four they are fixed. Electron two two is free to move. Uh, three and four make same angles theta. But they have to keep uh, held this particle 2, electron 2. That means net force on particle 2 must be 0. They have to hold it here. So net force on particle 2 must be 0. For physically possible values of Q less or equal to 5e. For physically possible values of Q less or equal to 5e. Physically possible values of Q, less or equal 5e. What are the smallest, second smallest, third smallest values of theta uh, for which electron 2 is held in place? For, first, let me talk about this. What are the possible values of Q, less or equal to plus 5e? Now, we know from quantization of charge, charge can be only integer multiple of basic unit E. So charge can be E or it can be 2E or it can be 3E or it can be 4E or it can be 5E. Up to 5E only. We don't have to go beyond 5E. So smallest possible value of Q is E. Second smallest is 2E. Third smallest is 3E. Fourth smallest is 4E. And fifth smallest is 5E. Now, uh, out of these possible values of Q, we have to find our three possible values of theta. Smallest value of theta, second smallest value of theta, and third smallest value of theta for electron 2 to be held in place. The meaning net force on 2 must be 0 in that case. Okay, so uh, we'll first uh, draw the forces and then make an equation of net force being 0 and then we'll find out angle theta. Let me choose colors now, appropriate. Okay. Now, uh, particle 1 will repel particle 2. Particle 1 will repel particle 2. So, force on 2 from 1 is going to be this way. Particle 3 will also repel 2, negative and negative. So, force on 2 from 3 is going to be this way. This is F2, 3. Force on 2 from 3. And if this angle is theta, this angle is theta. Let me redraw this. Okay, it's fine now. If this angle is theta here, then this angle is also theta. Okay, this angle is also theta. Now, particle 4 will also repel it. And that force will be in this direction. F2, 4. Again, if this is theta, then this is also theta, vertically opposite angles. Now, these two charges are same. These two distances are same. Obviously, these two distances are same because theta are same. Then uh, these two forces will have same magnitudes. Okay, They'll have same magnitudes. Uh, let's resolve them. Let's resolve them. Uh, now, uh, I'll find out the components x component f24 cos theta and th this one f24 sin theta okay f24 sin theta now what about this one here okay. what about this one here i'll use i guess this one uh, f 2, 3 cos theta and then here F2, 3 
sin theta f2 3 sin theta now magnitude wise these two forces are same theta and theta are same so these two will simply cancel out we're left with three forces one in the positive direction the two two in the negative direction now for net force to be zero f2 1 needs to be same as the sum of these two forces f2 4 cos theta and f2 3 cos theta now we'll make an equation uh, well for that first I'll find our distance between 2 and 3 I'll do that here uh, this is r from particle 2 to the origin and we have particle 3 here this angle is theta so this is the hypotenuse r 2 3 remember uh, 2 and 4 will be same uh, at same distance so r 2 4 is equal to r 3 now what is this now we know cos of theta is equal to base divided by hypotenuse 2 3 so uh, r 2 3 is equal to r 2 3 upstairs cos of theta downstairs this is going to be r divided by cos of theta so this hypotenuse is r divided by cos of theta here so this distance is r divided by cos of theta so is this distance r divided by cos of theta okay now let's write down the equation f21 must be equal to f24 cos theta plus f23 uh, cos of theta so f21 f21 is equal to f24 cos theta f24 cos theta plus f23 cos theta now, I already argued that uh, F24 and F23 are equal in magnitude. So, F21 is equal to twice F24 cos theta. So, this implies, now let's substitute the values. This is gamma Q2, Q1. Both of them are E. So, this will become E squared. Divided by, they are separated by distance of R. So, divided by R squared. This is 2 here. Then we have gamma. Uh, Q2 is E. Remember, we are only using the magnitude of charge. Then we have Q4. Q4 is just Q. Divided by distance between them is R divided by cos theta. We just had a look at that. R divided by cos theta squared. And then we have this cos of theta here. Okay, so this implies gamma E squared divided by R squared is equal to twice gamma E Q divided by now this is r squared divided by cos uh, square theta we'll take that upstairs here this will become r cube theta okay r cube theta so now uh, gamma gamma cancels out 1 e cancels out r square cancels out so we're left with e here 2 here and q here cos cube theta okay cos cube theta so this implies cos cube theta is equal to e divided by 2q so this is our equation let me call this equation one cos cube theta is e divided by 2q so you can see theta depends on q theta depends on q now uh, let's have a look at cos of theta cos of 90 degrees is equal to 0 and cos of 0 degrees is equal to 1. Now note here, for greater value of cos of theta, theta is smaller. If you uh, increase cos of theta, you have to make theta smaller. So making theta smaller makes cos of theta larger. Okay, that's important here. So what I do here is, if I take smaller value of Q, okay, if I take smaller value of Q, smaller q leads to what leads to what smaller q leads to greater value of cos of theta q is in the denominator so quotient will become larger if you decrease denominator quotient becomes larger so cos of theta will become larger so smaller value of q leads to larger cos of theta but larger cos of theta leads to smaller theta Okay, so this one leads to smaller theta, smaller theta. 
So if we have, if we take smaller value of Q, that would mean we are taking larger value of cos of theta. And if we take larger value of cos of theta, which is on the side of 1, then theta will be smaller. So now let's directly deal with these two. Smaller Q leads to smaller theta. Smaller Q leads to smaller theta. So if we take smallest value of Q, we'll get smallest value of theta. If we take second smallest value of Q, we'll get second smallest value of theta. If we get, get uh, take th uh, third smallest value of Q, we'll get third smallest value of theta. So that's what we are asked to find out. We're asked to find out smallest value of theta. For that, we'll take smallest value of Q. We're asked to find out second smallest value of theta. For that, we'll take second smallest value of Q. We are asked then to find our third smallest value of theta. For that, we'll take third smallest value of Q. Is that fine? So for smallest value of theta, now this is part A, smallest value of theta. We'll take smallest value of Q, which is E. Remember, Q can be E, 2E, 3E, 4E. And 5e, up to 5e we have to go. e, 2e, 3e, 4e, and 5e. Smallest is e. Smallest is e. So if we take smallest value of q, we'll get smallest value of theta from this equation. Cos cube theta is e divided by 2q. Cos cube theta, 1 implies equation 1. Cos cube theta is e divided by 2q. Q is also e. e and e cancels out. So cos cube theta is equal to 1 divided by 2, 1 divided by 2, which means cos of theta is equal to 1 divided by cube root of 2. Now for this value, theta is equal to 37.4 degrees, okay, 37.4 degrees. So this is the smallest value of theta when we take smallest value of Q. Smallest value of Q. So for smallest value of Q, we have smallest value of theta, 37.4 degrees. Then second smallest value of theta, part B. Second smallest value of theta. For that, we'll have to take second smallest value of Q, which is twice E. So equation 1 gives us cos cube theta cos cube theta, e divided by 2q, e divided by 2q, well, q is twice e. e and e cancels out, so cos cube theta is equal to 1 by 4, meaning cos of theta is equal to 1 divided by cube root of 4. Well, for this value, theta is equal to approximately 51 degrees. 51 degrees. So this is the second smallest value of theta. Okay, second smallest value of theta. Second smallest value of theta. Now third smallest value of theta. Part C. Third smallest value of theta. For that, we'll take third smallest value of Q, which is 3E. Remember, E is the smallest value, 2E is the second smallest value, 3E is the third smallest value. So equation 1 gives us cos cube theta is equal to Q divided, no, no, not Q, E divided by 2Q. E divided by 2Q. Cos cube theta is E divided by 2Q. E divided by 2q, instead of q, we'll write 3e, e and e cancels out, so cos cube theta is equal to 1 divided by 6, so cos of theta is equal to 1 divided by cube root of 6, for this value, theta is 56.6 degrees, 56.6 degrees, okay, so first smallest value of theta, is 37.4 degrees. Second smallest value of theta is 51 degrees. And third smallest value of theta is 56.6 degrees. For net force to be zero on the second electron. For net force to be zero on this electron. Is that fine? Okay.